Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Finishing my coffee. I have dropped the boys at preschool. I have quite a lot of business work to do. We're closing on a property shortly, so a lot has to be done with that. I just wanted to make the comment on my last vlog. The response that I got over these sunglasses from you guys on that vlog was insane, okay? And I have to mention, because it's just the type of person I am, that I got so many of my followers saying we would send you a new pair, like if you could find it in your country. You found me links. I had so many DMs. I even got emails to my email address with links of like where you could find these Celine Tilders. Ah, I just, it is just, you don't know what it's like for someone, I guess, who puts themselves out on the internet to just, you know what I mean? There's so much love. And in that last vlog, like obviously I was talking to you about, you know, what I've done to myself, whatever, and the support is overwhelming and I knew you guys supported me. That wasn't the point, you know, I just, as I said, us as, youtubers or whatever we just like to vent sometimes because as i said it's our choice nonetheless i wanted to just say thank you to everybody it was like we'll send you new tilders i was like oh my god i can just count on you guys to help me at least find them you're gonna come with me we're getting we are gonna finish our work then i've got a nail appointment for infill i've got to go back up to the house to meet a designer again you're just gonna come around with me, okay? We've gotta get coffee. It's just, you know, you like hanging out with me, right? I like hanging out with you. I have just got to the restaurant and we have a couple of meetings, Will and I, and he wants to, he's cooking something right now for a function they have tonight and he wants to show you. So it's a Willy chef takeover of the vlog. Dang! What am I doing? Don't you want to film what you're doing? Um, sure. Do you need a, the tripod? Oh! Can't see me. Oops. Are you going to show them stuff? You have to pick up the Yeah, camera. so basically I've got, I'm going to make a lobster bisque with some lobster heads. So I've got, um, what have I got? I've got some onion, carrot, celery, and I'm going to just have just the underlying flavor of fennel, which will be really good. Um, the aniseed coming through in the bisque. And then what we do is we just cook the lobster separately um, and layer it with the bisque while the bisque is going to be done in... Um, the bisque is actually going to be done with lobster heads to get all the flavor out. So guys, we've got our lobster bisque going. We've got some tin tomatoes, just the tomato, basil, uh, all the other ingredients, and some lobster heads. And we've just chucked some whole basil leaves, as you can see. Whole lobster. Just the heads. And then the meat is going to go later. And just boil that, simmer it for a good hour to get all the flavor. Beautiful. Okay, I feel like this vlog is all over the place. Ah! Ah! I'm holding all of the content of my bag because I want to trade this out to my new Speedy 20. I'm, I'm very, very excited. I've been using this for, I want to say like nearly three weeks straight, I think. I, I changed out of it for a second to get a bigger bag and then I came back and I've just been loving it. All right, welcome to the mess. <laughs> this little studio is, I'm outgrowing it already. And already. We've only been here for like a month, two months. And our house is going to be done soon. To be honest, I just can't choose what to change SLGs out from. So these are the current, which 
is still been going on which is the recto verso and this has been a little extra card case i haven't had a catch-all but let's get this out so we can see what size we're kind of dealing with and go from there oh, so, good. so many of you guys reached out to me and was like i'm so glad you got this i I knew it was going to be this speedy 20 and they're everywhere and I love this size and get back to us. Listen, it's a far, it's a far more actual mini bag size than I would, like I said in that unboxing, than a Nano. There is no way a Nano is <laughs> a usable bag and they were so, everyone was so excited I got the pink in the strap very cute there's a lock so yeah definitely a usable size it's gonna fit probably fits a full wallet let's check okay here is my Damier bean insulate it's the biggest pretty much the biggest wallet you can get I have in fact sold my zippy wallet that I just got to a subby uh, but I got this gifted to me from Susan hi Susan oh my gosh why i have no idea but it's the biggest so we'll see how this goes so no that's not going in even on an angle it's not going in you wouldn't be able to squish it in okay so therefore if i wanted to use a full wallet i would use my zippy compact wallet and this is in the damier bin in the flat lay if you've watched me for a hundred million years you'd know that um it is the most amazing wallet so hopefully this fits nicely yep perfect so i would go with a full size wallet in here just because i suppose you want to optimize your space um definitely um i would get an organizer from samorga 100 percent just to protect and sh keep the shape but I'll go ahead and have my Zippy wallet, my Zippy Compact, just because it will hold so much. I won't have to have extra cards, but I can have a catch-all, which might be my toiletry 15, or I might use my mini pochette. Hang on. Okay, yeah, so I've decided to use my mini pochette, complementing my Zippy Compact wallet in the Damier bin. They can be friends together, even though it's a monogram bag. I've been so matchy matchy monogram. I've not used this in so, so long. Okay, for sunnies, I'm gonna rest my tildes. I know, right? So crazy bin. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Gucci, and these are my cat eye. My cat eye Gucci's with the GG's. These are beautiful, beautiful sunglasses. I, I love these. And then to have the silk pouch is always a game changer for space. So we'll pop them in there. I don't have to, you know, add lots of little things. And it, it's massive space, massive. So I will put the strap on. How fun. Okay, so here we go. I will just keep the key in its dust, uh, sorry, the lock in its dust bag. So here is the beautiful strap if you've watched that unboxing you saw it thank you so much we will clip it on and as i said in that unboxing all of the hardware is so shiny gold it makes such a difference louis vuitton honestly i have no idea why they don't you know try and keep this consistent all the way through and the game changer, which I said, is the zip comes all the way down the side, like so, giving you much more access. If you're thinking about this bag, definitely look into it. I will report back after I've used it, but yay. Okay, I think I've told you guys about my flower game. Yeah, of course I have. I grew up with knowing and knowledge of flowers and everything just from Jillian. She always had flowers and plants and just everything i think from when i was little i've just transferred these uh philanopsis orchids so these are the ones that hang and uh they get really weighty at the end so i just transferred them to this beautiful uh, pot rather than this large low vase because they just end up hanging over and the boys pull on it so it's just not nice I was at a meeting and I was like, I want peony. <laughs> Peonies have just come 
into season here in Australia and I just picked up two bunches. These are our wedding flower. I'll throw in a shot here, mixed in with tea roses. I did peonies and they're so, so beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I've done. Obviously, peony is a rose that grows, it's like a bush rose, it's not stemmed, only stemmed, so with leaf, it's very much bushier. Uh, so I like to keep a lot of the leaf, and actually, Jeff Latham, who is like a god, um, he always, when he does arrangements, says to keep the length. I don't particularly agree because I still like fullness at the bottom. He has obviously way better vases. This is just a milk jug, but he has a lot higher. So he keeps length because he brings these roses up, um, which obviously is a really good tip because you should keep length and as much stem uh, for the growth and whatever. But I like, you know, I work with what I've got. So these will open. We'll keep an eye on them and show you, but yay. I'll definitely throw in my wedding flowers. I went for a very, very tea rose romantic look in my wedding. Okay, we're just going out to do uh, a little shop, grocery shop and get a coffee. I wanted to show you guys this because I changed it out uh, a day ago. I put, as usual, I don't know why, but I put my pochette Matisse strap on this Speedy 20 instead of the big thick pink strap for a change just because obviously I can crossbody this properly I'm way too tall for the pink strap even though I did I don't really follow rules like that I don't care um, but this with the posh MT strap is so gorgeous it's so odd and I've had subbies ask me like can you explain your strap game like why do you put your reverse XL strap on things but not and then your Posh Emma T strap on things? You know what? It's so weird. It's just like I just vibe with it. I know if it's going to work or not. And this is working really nicely on this little Speedy 20 and I'm enjoying it so much. Oh my God, Will's driving the car. I just got over onto the driver's side, it's pouring with rain, and I had no, I couldn't find these. Girl, I was sitting on them. They are, must be dead. Ew, what is that? Oh, this ass can sit on a pair of sunnies and they'll live. They would be so bent. Look at this car, nappies, drink bottles. My Speedy 20 is down there. It's a nightmare. Okay guys, hi. This vlog is all over the place, honestly. I feel like I don't even know where I'm up to. I wanted to end this vlog showing you my peony roses and where they were up to. So here they are, they're definitely on their last legs now. <laughs> I've been sort of cutting them off as the heads uh, just sort of die off, but, and they're starting to sort of lose their sharpness. But just look at it, it's so beautiful. They are such a full-headed flower, if that makes sense. If you were thinking, about doing peonies for your wedding do them trust me they are so beautiful and they're really full so they fill the bouquets beautifully if that makes sense so that is them they're so pretty honestly if you guys are thinking as i said thinking about um, your flower arrangements for your weddings any sort of really big budded flower so if it opens large and it fills the bouquet it's just it's beautiful they become like show stoppers especially as like centerpieces on table so that is my vlog it is probably all over the place i hope everybody is staying safe and doing well fingers crossed about viruses and in australia if you're an aussie subby that you know we just get stuff under control i don't even want to talk about it okay seriously uh, but I hope everybody is doing well. I really do and staying safe um, And I will see you in my next video. Take care guys. Peace